Last week, I talked to two guys in the UK, asking them if they would like to come make a movie with me. And we talked about it for a little bit, and they said that they used to act on a show called Gibberish Time. So we thought that we'd revisit that by making our own series, also called Gibberish Time. Jack has been making movies for a couple of years now. He has his own YouTube channel called Jack X Castaway, where he puts his movies. He's done vlogs, documentaries, and a bunch of other things that I can't think of. He used to have his own studio, but it got shut down. So now he just films at home. This is his house. This is where he works. So how do you feel about this? Like we haven't had international actors in a while and the last time that we have had international actors, things went wrong. These people are living in the UK currently. They were born in America. All right, but I'm just telling you, because last time we had a jet lag problem and they went to sleep, so you just we just have to be careful. I hear they've been living in the UK for the past 10 years. Yeah, and they flew up just two days ago, so it's going to be fine. Our filming session starts tomorrow. times nowadays people like to call little events like this a party so that's why I said welcome to the party but now this is my workspace where I work I got a computer and everything it is a very nice workspace I'm afraid someone would steal the food. Okay, well that's good. Still, you're not taking anything in there. Hey, that man who just sat down over there. That is my filming partner, Manny. He films for me, and I do the clapboard. Hi. In the gibberish time that we used to watch with Weirda and Weird in it, there was a laugh track. They would do funny things and speak gibberish and we've actually come up with some gibberish phrases for them that can be translated to English. So we're trying to recreate that to get more views on YouTube. We talked to Jack and he thought it would be cool to make a movie with us doing a little kind of a, another version of gibberish time. If you don't know me, my name's Weird Allens. This is Weird Paul, my buddy. Uh, Those aren't our actual names. That's just what we go by nowadays since everyone knows us like that. So we're ready to start filming whenever you guys are. Hey, where's Mary? Let's blow this popsicle stand. Okay, are we ready to start filming right now? Because I'm getting a bit anxious. Yes, we'll start. We just need Manny. I got your phone just like you asked. We are rolling and action. I have this thing for my movies called old fashioned mode where if I snap my fingers just like this, everything will look like how it did so many years ago. And I'm using old fashioned mode for this movie.
Well, everything went just the way as planned. They followed the scripts and spoke the gibberish phrases that we got them. And right now, I have to go film something else. Also, it may have looked like nighttime in there and that's because in old fashioned mode, the windows are tinted. I'm going to disable that and make it look like daytime. It's ready. Quite nice, but we should all get in out of the night air. Follow me, please. Chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, cherie. When you're with a sweep, you're in glad company. Nowhere is there a more happier crew than them Watsons. Chim, chim, cherie, chim, cheroo. Chim, chimney, chim, chim, cherie, chim, cheroo. Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Come on, mighty stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Stepping time! Never need a reason, never need a rhyme. Stepping time! We stepping time! Get your knees up! Get your knees up! Stepping time! Get your knees up! Stepping time! Up for the Riley. Over the rooftops.
everything all right up there? Yes, everything is all right. I opened the windows and I shut the door upstairs. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's clean up there. So, does that mean we can start shooting our next scene yet? Because we are running low on time. Maybe had Weird and Weird been in this household, then we can start doing that right now. But I cannot find them. Well, maybe you could just call them and find out where they are. I already called them like three times now and they have not answered. Well, why not call them a fourth? I mean, maybe they'll answer this time. You know how they say that after three times it gets pretty old? I feel like that's the case here. I've called them three times and that's enough. Oh my God, do I have to explain this to you? After three times, it is enough. But what if we try it again and it works? It just gets old after a while. We need to think of new ideas. Do you know anything? My idea is that we call them again. I was thinking maybe we should drive to where we think that they would be and try to find them. But how will we know where they are? I heard them talking about going to New York City soon, so we could probably try to find them there. All right. Let's have a meeting tomorrow. We'll invite some people. A meeting, you say? Yes, I do say that. We're gonna have to invite a lot of people. Such as? We're gonna have to get, uh, well, you, obviously. We're gonna have to get Eddie, uh, Boss Ryan from Power Up. We're gonna have to get Michael to come. Uh, even the YouTube company can help us, too. We have a company that works for us who approves our videos and makes sure that they're okay to go up on YouTube. They're just called the YouTube Company, and we're gonna see if they're available to meet with us tomorrow to help us find Weird and Weirda. My first idea that we could do, which I'm gonna talk about in the meeting tomorrow, is we should drive. Drive to New York City. You can drive all by yourself. Drive by myself? I ain't doing that. If I drove by myself, then I wouldn't have someone to help me if I get lost or something who will be my GPS. You're a very good GPS. So I am not Don't get, don't get my nose. Well then drive by yourself if you don't want me to get your nose. I am not going by myself. Then give me your nose. Fine, take my nose. born in New York City and we are taking a trip there to see our old home. So we're just waiting here for the bus that's going to take us there. Man, what a crazy day we had today. I can't believe that my own home almost burned down. Yeah, it was very crazy stuff. I've been through some crazy stuff before. I used to work at another film company and I'll tell you, the crazy stuff that happened there was a lot crazier than what happened today. All right, I'm gonna head home now. Bye. Bye. Hello? One thing that I learned is that if you're ever baking something or toasting something, you should definitely set a timer so that what just happened never happens again. Someone told me that we're going to have to try to find them very soon. Hello? 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 Hello?